In 2015, China missed its growth target for the first time since 1998, recording its lowest growth rate in 24 years. This slowing economy is spurring Chinese companies to seek growth abroad. So far this year, Chinese companies have spent $66 billion in overseas acquisitions, the highest ever outbound figure. And the majority of the acquisitions were in Europe. China is in the midst of rebalancing itself from an investment-led, export-oriented economy to a consumption-driven one. This shift is reflected in M&A as well, where majority of the deals were in consumer business and TMT sectors at the expense of the more traditional strongholds of energy and resources and manufacturing sectors. On the other hand, Japan is facing a wholly different set of challenges. Despite the ongoing economic reforms, Japan remains saddled with a falling domestic consumption and GDP that shrank at an annualized rate of 1.2% in Q2 of 2015. In response to these domestic pressures, Japanese companies are actively looking abroad for growth prospects. So far this year, they made around 56 billion worth of overseas acquisitions, which accounts for an astonishing 52% of all announced deals by value. This means, for the first time ever, Japanese outbound M&A figures are higher than the domestic figures. We expect China and Japan to be major players in global M&A markets in 2016.